People of God, the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest and abide with you all. We thank the Lord the last month, the month of December. God has been faithful to us. We have every cause to thank our Maker, to appreciate His goodness, His love, and His care. Oh, God has been faithful. And people of God, thanks give then our thankfulness creates supernatural highway for uncommon miracles. So we have to thank the Lord. And giving thanks is a means of expressing one's trust that God is working all things for his good purpose. Romans 8, 28. We are in December. We thank God. We appreciate his goodness. God wants us to be thankful. But his vision for thankfulness is bigger than a once a year celebration. Hallelujah. But of God, our theme for reflection today, as we have begun a new week, our theme is, do you remember? Do you remember? Mark 8, 14 to 21. Do you remember? Okay. Okay. January. February. What God did for you. The first 11 months. Do you remember? Count your blessings one by one. And you begin to appreciate what God has done for you. It's not about money. It's not about material things. It's about life. The gift of life. Price, priceless gift. God has given to you and I. Oh, let's celebrate. Let's jubilate. Hip, 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 hooray. God is faithful. Bible says. Now when he said Jesus was working with the disciples. Bible says Jesus reminded them. When the, the people were doubting. Say, Brodo Niho, ye ni a bodu, ye su se ah. Na mon kai se ma ye bida. Mon kai. Mu we ni su mu huadi. Mu wa so mon ti asem. Oh, mon kai. Se me na hon chile ba ya. Me ni a bodu e num, e ni patabi e num. E shi e ni pa, em pem pem. Mu ure fi. Mu ure fi. When I broke the five loaves of bread for the five thousand. So Jesus reminded his disciples that they shouldn't forget the old things. What the Almighty God has done. And Hebrews 13, it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Don't, don't you remember? Remember the gift of life. Remember that I began the year with you with a fresh start. Remember. Remember for my purpose, my plans for your life. Remember. And then rather say young kind. We shouldn't be ungrateful to the Lord. We need to remember. Say and cash him put near that papanasia enough. A year to catch a shear for the same. Oh no, to me I didn't deny. So the one who began the year with you, that same God will help you to cross into the new year. And not just crossing, crossing on a good note. Crossing with the grace of God. Crossing with the favor of God. Crossing with the anointing of God. Crossing with God living in your life. Crossing. With the power of God taking dominion over your life, over my life, we bless Him. You see, we already say on Shasi we yimu. November, we already Shasi we yimu. Don't see it, see it was suffer. Hmm. Kala bozi kata ya di braya, loko to bradi valanti sa kazuzi braya Father, we thank you. I pray for you, my mother, my brother, my father, my sister. I pray for you. Remember what God has done for you and appreciate his goodness. The one who fed over 5,000 and over with two, two lo five loaves of bread and just two fishes he had done before. The one who walked on the sea. Remember. Remember. He's the same God. Yesterday, today, and forever. God bless you. May you, begin, may you begin this new week 
May you begin that week with fresh mindset, fresh oil, fresh perspective, fresh start in the name of Jesus. And I pray, finish hard. Yes, we are ending the year. Don't give up. Keep pressing on. Keep praying. Keep seeking the face of God for your life. Don't relax. Three weeks ahead, there are a lot. There are a lot God is going to do. I pray that goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. I pray if you are sick, be healed. In the name of Jesus. If you are despair, may you receive hope. Beautiful ashes. In the name of Jesus, I pray that may God be with you and empower you and strengthen you. Don't forget, the theme is, do you remember? You are remembering who? What God has done for you. In your family, in your church, your workplace, your children, and how far Ebenezer God has brought us. God bless you and keep you. I'm Reverend Foster Kofi Ampo for peace and life to you all. Shalom. Bye-bye.